first virtual Latin America Patient Congress, we are pleased to have IAPA's Board of Trustees, Sir Dr. Neda Milevska Kolstova, Ileana Thierry, the IAPA Board Member, and Kawazip Semi, the CEO. They are going to make some final comments and bring the Congress to a close. Ileana, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Um, today we have listened to many interesting presentations as yours. So definitely the leaders and the patients' organizations, we have the first great challenges, which is to adopt a strategic role to ensure that patients are at the center of health system in need of our countries. We have to take advantage, as you said, of this historic moment to position ourselves at the decision-making tables and join this path of building a better health system. The other great challenge that we have is the lack of access in the region, often caused by inefficient management, bureaucracy, shortage of professionals, and fragmented system. This all weaken the health system and have an impact on the health of the population. In order to address the challenges, it is essential to achieve a strong, frequent, and fair communication between organizations, which promotes collaborative work and synergy between patient leaders, decision makers, the industry, and promote future health systems. So together, we can do this and have health systems that are more resilient and sustainable. Peer-to-peer -peer connections, cross-knowledge, as well as the strategic alliances with, another, with other stakeholders will enable us to replicate the best practices at the regional level. Knowing that all patient organizations are facing the same issues and challenges is the first step so that we can build partnerships exchanging knowledge and skills will enhance our achievements at the national level, but it will also allow us to scale them up in the region. This change represents a strategic decision that we must make as fast as possible. I am convinced that patients organizations are strongly committed to their mission, and we will achieve that that we set up but doing that will allow us to go much farther and do it faster and better. I hope that we can use this Latin America Patients Congress as an impulse to work all together. Last but not least, I would like to highlight the participation of a large number of young people, among them moderators, speakers, collaborators of this meeting, meeting with young experts, that are involved in improving access and healthcare. It is strategically essential that patients' organizations also highlight and inspire young people to be part of our organizations because their contributions will become powerful catalysts of the huge changes that we need to, to make. With this Congress, IAPO was undoubtedly contributing with knowledge and expertise so that patients, organizations, and other stakeholders can work on their fields and promote better health systems for the region. I want to thank you all for the trust that you had on us to let us give you support on this event. And I hope it was a really positive and enriching experience for all of you. I hope to see you in future events. Thank you so much. Neda, the floor is yours. Thank you, dear Liliana. I would like to also, at the end of this very rich day, with a lot of knowledge, experience, expertise, exchange, I would like to echo what you said about um, the, the, the importance of us staying together, the collaboration, and to thank everyone for participating, and to really, once again, uh, reiterate um, uh, IAPO's commitment to this region. So I would like to uh, remind maybe or suggest or 
say to everyone that in fact these congresses are the places where we get together to open debates and then to keep them open and discuss them with you on a uh, continuous basis. So everything we've heard today is actually an invitation to, to continue and to expand the collaboration in those specific areas. Anything that you have heard that inspired you or you thought this is a problem that we have in our country or in my organization, you please reach out to us and especially to Liliana Thierry who is very, very active in the region of Latin America, for which I am so grateful that we have you on the board, Liliana. So please reach out to us. We can try to discuss together on how we can address those issues at regional or global level, because stronger we become only by being together. And please do not think that you are alone. In many um, corners of the world, the problems are similar, but what we can do is we can try to come together to exchange experience, but also to act together to become a more powerful voice on the global health agenda. So once again, I would like to thank all the speakers, all the moderators, and by far, and greatest gratitude to all the participants, because you are making this voice bigger and louder. And um, not to uh, stand behind um, to thank again the co-organizer Cuidar, uh, Liliana and her team, Pilar, especially from the team, Estefania, for her very inspiring way of moderating. It was really, really a pleasure to be hearing you. And last but not least, I always leave them for last, is our dear um, uh, office or our dear CEO with a strong team back there of Danny, Rachel and Moniki at the moment, Manish as well, those you have not seen uh, right in front of your eyes, but they have been with you all these, not hours, but all these months and all these years. And please stay with us so that we become stronger together. Thank you and Kavadip, the floor is yours. Uh Thank you very much, uh, Liliana, and thank you very much, uh, Nada. Uh, it's a long list. I have to thank uh, people. I think uh, I'll say that um, I can't thank you enough, as you were saying. Uh, one thing we noticed that uh, we all have proved that Latin America has patients who have got triple A rating, meaning access all areas of health policy, development, co-production, and things. We cannot be kept out of this. So in other words, we should be allowed in every door and window. So that's probably one point. The second, I must firstly thank all the patients uh, for sharing their experience with us uh, and uh, sharing the challenges and pitfalls, but most importantly, for sharing the commitment to build back better Latin America. I think that is something that I really go home with uh, today. Then I must thank the speakers. Uh, they give us their time and their expert insight. This is These are things you cannot buy even if you've got lots of money. These are things people have seen and now they relate to us through their hearts, minds, and uh, get to our ears. And they've been very generous with their times. Uh, I know how annoying we were to organize the dry runs, they tolerated us, uh, they, they, they kind of uh, helped us long and they were very, very um, understanding. Then I must go down to the moderators. Uh, again, these are expert patients from IAPO, IAPO members of IAPO's uh, membership. Uh, I think uh, I'm so impressed with their skill uh, and the engaging way. I think each of you should be a talk show host somewhere because the way you extracted those nuggets of gold uh, from the uh, speakers and presenters, you know, the way you molded it, the way you took it. It was uh, also a magic to watch things happening. And then uh, not forgetting, as I say, I can, I'm can. i speaking to you in English, but there's somebody helping me there, and those are the translators. I think they were very faithful and skilled in helping us understand each other. And I think they were the oil and uh, in the... Gear, gear box of our uh, dialogue today. 
and they helped us move along. And I must thank them for this. It has been a tremendous experience working with you. Highly professional. But then I must now uh, go down uh, at a personal level, you know, thank Liliana and uh, Quida and uh, Stephanie Pilar for the support and the team that you've given us. I think without you, this wouldn't have been a great uh, session, as we said. And I think what you did for us is, uh, we, we can't forget this. And I think it's uh, something that we will like to repeat in power in uh, Washington later in the year. But to your team really brought the understanding they were. And I think they're so well connected and the energy they put in. I think the experience is uh, so much enlightening. Uh, then I have to thank uh, Pin Crowd, uh, the Manish and his team uh, for putting up a marvelous platform for us uh, and hosting us uh, once again um, uh, splendidly. And I must touch wood uh, that uh, the gods of technology were good to us. And also, I must thank uh, God of Time, Kronos, because I think we kept everything to time. We're almost there, I think, a little bit. And so I, I know many people uh, always said to us, you know, oh, well, you know, in Latin America we, or even in Africa, we, you guys don't respect time. I think I'm going to challenge them on this. My speakers, my people were on time, exact time. And there is no such thing as uh, being late or over-exaggerated. So I must thank you for that and this. And now I must thank uh, NEDA and IAPA's board. Uh, NEDA as our chair and the board has been really generous uh, in uh, sanctioning this project to go ahead and also telling me to get on with it and get things done and investing in it uh, by time and thought also in interpretation, because when, when I spoke to her about interpretation, she said, go look for them, uh, let not language stand in our way because we can't uh, put an under. I'm so glad Liliana also appreciated that um, sentiment and uh, came forward and agreed uh, we shouldn't uh, let this stop. And we are learning Spanish. Uh, I'm good that by the end of the uh, uh, session, we will be good speakers. And then uh, I must uh, thank my team here, uh, clearly with uh, Danny, who really persevered, uh, you know, dotted the I's and crossed the T's and got everything right. And then Rachel, who kept on the communication links and everything going. And then Monique, who stepped in as usual again after two congresses, brings in that extra special insight and uh, knows everything going on. And without uh, them, we would have been possible. And lastly, but not least, but enormous, you know, as I said in the morning, we thank you, for I would say, in a way, is to go to MSD, our sponsors. Uh, MSD really appreciated what we were doing. I think they realized our vision. I think I'm sure other uh, sponsors will now see this as a product and uh, look at it, what can be done. And I think uh, they were really generous. And um, uh, Rodney and his team just said, uh, called him, how much do you need? We'll put you in. Don't worry, uh, we can square up later. So thank you, MSD, for that support. And I think without that, we wouldn't be having such a great time. And uh, lastly, I think... Uh, I must uh, say to everybody who's stayed up late, uh, thank you for your time. And uh, let's go forward. Uh, just to share with you that uh, in PAHO, WHO PAHO, we will have uh, several things to be done. Uh, one is we are trying to organize a side event for Safe PHC, uh, which I think is, will be a good start. Second is to have a, a side event for uh, indigenous people and their health, the uh, PAHO executive have uh, invited us for that, especially, especially now. And then uh, we, we can look at uh, more integrated uh, approaches, uh, humanizing and uh, personalized healthcare, I think, uh, precision medicine as a second. And all this, we will gather again and reflect on this. Please wait for our invitation to have a secondary meeting, a much more relaxed uh, webinar uh, to discuss what we need to take to PAHO. And hopefully we will, a few of us will gather in PAHO and uh, look at things. 
So thank you for my time. And uh, if I've forgotten anything, Neda, you can fill in the gaps. Uh, I know you keep uh, tab on everything. I think uh, you know who's missing if I've not... Uh, uh, I, I think you really had a very comprehensive list and probably we forgot still someone at the uh, end of the day and we apologize for that. But I'm really tempted to invite Manish to, to bring up front, if it's possible, Danny, Rachel, Pilar, Estefania in the same screen with us so that people can really actually see who was the, who are the ones without whom we couldn't really pull it through. Is it possible, Manish? I, uh, um... The okay. yeah. But um, uh, but uh, to, to to before I think something that uh, I uh, absolutely need to thank was also to the Quaker uh, for being so generous. And I think uh, today we were just talking about um, how uh, Bruno Pera, uh sadly we now learned that he's passed away. Uh, how he was such instrumental in uh, helping me in the way back, you know, in forest rights and forest communities. And we realized that uh, things are not, uh, there's still a lot, lot needs to be done and we must participate in that. And, uh, Thank you. Think, Thank you, Kavadi. And maybe Thank we you. pass on to Estefania to put the cherry on the cake. The last words. Thank you. Thank you very much, Liliana, Neda, and Kaoldi for your insightful interventions. And Kaoldi, you did all the gratitude process for me, so I don't have anyone else to thank. It was a great pleasure to work with you. And in this Congress, because we talked about different topics that are without any doubt fundamental, and I celebrate the organization of Congresses like this in our region. Of course, we have a lot ahead of us, and we are just starting the different path that we have to start and we have to embrace. But I'm sure that working in teams, we can strengthen not only the health system, but also each one of the patients. I'm a person with diabetes and I'm a young leader as well. So I'm committed to continue strengthening the accessibility to health services to everyone with, that lives with a disease. Remember that you will be able to find all the sessions in the post YouTube channel. You can follow us in Facebook, Twitter. And thank you very much for being there on the other side of the screen. I hope that you have a great week and we will be here to celebrate other Latin American patients' congresses.